That's six ounces right there. Anyway, bottoms up. So tell me, Brett, how does that how does that ale taste? Uh, like Coors Light. I apologize. I don't forget about this at all. <laughs> oh, he made the cup. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing, and today we got something special. We got a little competition. We got a flipping competition. We got two fellas. One y'all already know. Actually, both y'all should already know. We got Chris over here. And we got your boy Justin. You might know him from the topwater video where we had that gar on the topwater frog. But Justin's back. He's going to start making more appearances on the channel. So stay tuned for that. We got Wicked Jigs on board to supply us with some nice jigs right here. There's the nice trophy we're all after. And uh, yeah, we're going to see who's the mother flipping champion. Let's get to it. <laughs> So we randomly selected what jig color we're gonna get. I've got Bruised Melon by Wicked Jigs. It's a little nice pumpkin with a little bit of chartreuse. Chris is going with your Okeechobee color. Nice little blue, purple, and pumpkin. And Justin ended up with Kusa Crawl, which is probably one of my favorite jig colors that he makes. The other thing is we get to choose a trailer if we want. Now, the trailers I've got are these Havoc Baits, Creature Baits. We've got a crawl right here. That one goes with the Kusa Crawl. This one's going to go with uh, the bruised melon, and then we've got the black and blue to go with Okeechobee, just because I couldn't find anything in pumpkin and blue at the old Wally World today when I was at Wally World, just behind the scenes stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie these jigs on, we're going to pick a spot, like a pin basically in the yard, and we're going to seed ourselves. Closest to the pin is the top seed, so on, so forth, and uh, the top seed gets to choose in which order that they play. Now here are the rules to the game. We have your standard beer pong style setup. Those are just filled with water, but we will be drinking four ounces for every cup rang. Coors Light, by the way. So four ounces of Coors Light for every cup rang. You get 10 throws per round. It's 22 and a half feet between the two areas. So you have to stand behind the line and pitch. If the jig hits the ground, it counts uh, as a throw as one of your 10. You can pull back as long as it doesn't hit the ground. If it bounces into a cup, that does not count. It has to ring the cup flush. Because if you're pitching at water, it doesn't bounce off water. You need to hit flush at where you're aiming. And that's the way we're gonna do this. You've got to ring it flush. We're gonna go over equipment in just a minute once everybody gets tied on. I've gotta do that myself. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're gonna go over what we are throwing right now. So for myself, I have got a Ducket Ghost uh, 7.3 heavy rod, and uh, I'm using my Pissy Fun Phantom X. That is a 7.6 to 1 gear ratio. This is my heavy flipping stick, my frogging stick, uh, and hopefully it will not do me wrong today. Let's see what the other boys are throwing. Dustin, what do you got? What do you got going here, buddy? I got the Dawa Tatula. It is the SVTW 103. And it is a 7.3 to 1. This is a favorite phantom rigged rod. 7 foot, medium heavy. And she is ready to go. Chris, how you doing? Good. So I have my AP Bassin favorite rod. It's 7.6 heavy. And I got the Tatula 100. What, what pound braid are you throwing? A 30 pound J braid. <laughs> he didn't know that earlier. We were having to quiz him on what he was throwing. Mine is also, I'm throwing on braid. I'm throwing 50 pound spider wire. It's and, fluoro. And... Yeah, 14, Justin's 14 flora. Justin is throwing 14 pound flora. He's the only one that broke free of the braid and is throwing flora. So what we're going to do now is we are going to seed ourselves. So we're going to place something in the yard and we're going to toss to it. The person closest to it gets first seed, second, third, so on. And then they get to choose the games. First seed will get to choose which games he wants to go in for the first three games. So let's go ahead and start doing that and get that set up. You're not going to hit me, are you? Ready? I'm ready. Tape measure. Well, that's pretty good. That's gonna be hard to beat. Ooh. All right, so I'm in the cup. That's what, that's what Brett at the moment, at the moment, 
No, I'll let y'all pick where we were throwing. At the moment, I'm seed number one. Uh, it was up to like 12. I really didn't. Okay. So you're right at the top of 10, right there. And now for Christopher, I'm probably going to like... So it doesn't really matter? I'm going to move this far away because he hasn't been practicing. Ooh. All right, so the seating order goes, I think we got a sleeper in third because I know Justin's been practicing. He's actually the one who came up with this idea and we're gonna address that a little bit later on how we wanna grow this idea. But basically here it goes. Since I'm the first seed, I get to choose which games I wanna play in. Second seed will choose second. Like you'll get to either pair up with me or go. Thank however. you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <coughs> Mm. Listen, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm like 120 pounds soaking wet. If all it's gonna take is y'all ring two cups on me and I am going to be lost. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna go, uh, I actually wanna go first, I wanna go first round and second round or second game. So in theory, actually, I could be eliminated after game two if I lose both. You get to put a C by the way you want game one. You get to only choose two. Okay. So Chris is going game three and game two. That's a good choice. So Justin's gonna face me game one. And uh, we're gonna put Justin right there and then he's gonna be game three. This is a double elimination tournament. So as long as you don't lose both games, you get to go to the second round. I'm making it to the third round regardless. <laughs> well, you're making it to the third game. Yeah. So as long as you don't lose both games, we keep playing until you've been, el you've been eliminated. So you gotta lose twice. Um, that could happen at any time until we finally get a championship match. It could actually come down to where you're holding one loss. The guy has been undefeated. you got to beat him twice in a row. So that's how we're going to play, and we're going to eventually work our way down. Again, we've only got three this year. Hopefully next year we can get some of you guys to come to us. We'll do like a little tournament style. We probably won't do beer, but we'll do something else. Uh, and we may even, like, whatever money we get as far as the tournament, we may, like, donate to the high school team, something like that. Just be thinking on that because that's probably what we're going to try to do. The first annual mother flipping this one's not on. beer not, drinking uh, jig sure. competition. Not looking forward to da, this. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna end up having to drink some, and uh, it's only gonna take two little six ounces. We we upped it to six ounces per per cup. All right, first throw. Terrible. That's where you're working on number six right here. Are you sure he's working Boom, we have a ringer. Six. Let's go get it. Dun, 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 dun. Is it in here? Yep. Oh my goodness. Six ounces of Coors Light. Here we go. Ah, that'll make you nice and calm and relaxed. Just like those bowlers Monday night. Because you could be eliminated after this two rounds. I could be. Well, no, I'm facing you. I won't be eliminated. Oh, this is not looking good. That's nine. Final round for game number one. The B man has to make it. There's the gutter ball. <laughs> he comes up eight foot short. Did he make it to the ten foot mark? Toting an L. Toting an L. So tell me, Brett, how does that how does that L taste? Uh, like Coors Light. <laughs> Chris up on the board now. First shot. Oh my God. Nailed it. Oh my God. Nailed it. Where's my cup? It's loaded. Man. In the cooler. Dun, I will have da, drank da, a full beer da, 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 da. before I get out of the first round. <laughs> this was your plan all along, was to, to get me to the point where I, I couldn't physically do this anymore. Man, I'm kind of a smart guy. <laughs> oh, oh Brett on. with a response. One to one. Which one did you ring? That back, back one. one. Guys, this is where the beef really is between this guy and that guy. Oh. Yummy. It's refreshing. I should know. All right. All right, one to one. We're one to one, first All throw. Right, one to one. Here we go. Right Ladies now. and gentlemen, we're about to go into sudden death. I can end it right. Why are you saying sudden death? I haven't thrown yet. <laughs> it's gonna go. Look at this guy. Look at it. Eyes are glossy. 
Oh, oh. My. oh. Doesn't count. Doesn't oh, count. he saved it. Doesn't count. So, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, this throw that we did, if it doesn't touch the ground and you pull the jig back without touching the ground on the toss, it doesn't count. So, Brett just saved himself from a terrible throw. Sudden death. Do I still go first? Yeah. Run number 11. Can we offer the cups at Sutter Death and get you the way No, you got to keep them the way they are. <laughs> oh my gosh! Woo! I'm about to be eliminated. First round, I'm about to be eliminated. At his own I'm house. I feel like I'm letting all y'all down. I'm about to go out the first round in my own competition. Anyway, bottoms up. What? It's not over yet. I still got to throw. Well, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's just uh, I'm just giving the OB. Uh, <laughs> you don't even know where those cups are at this point. <laughs> all right, Jeez, Louise. Here we go. Wait, are you shooting a free throw? I apologize. I don't feel good about this at all. <laughs> oh, he made the cup! Oh, we have oh got ourselves goodness. a battle royale. Let's go! <laughs> One ounce. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Yeah, <laughs> miracles I, happen. Listen, listen, I know what I said, but I believed it the whole time. Hey, this is the first time I've ever seen you drink and drunk at the same time. I'm Look at that. I'm not drunk yet, but uh, I'm, believe me, I'm getting there. My eyes really are like. Oh, like I can see here, it. I'm, I'm getting a little, I can tell it. a little watery. The hat went on backwards, uh, which never happens. Just, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Sudden death at its best. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to kill that center one here in a minute. That center one's going down. Oh my gosh! All over that center Come on, man. Go in the cup. Let me be done. Let me make it to this next round. You got it. Oh, there it is. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Brett with a V. It's over. <laughs> How does that victory taste after that first loss? Oh man, it tastes really good. It, yeah. uh, again, it tastes like coolers, and every time I burp, just a little bit like coolers. Oh, okay. It tastes like coolers, and when he burps, a little bit like coolers. Okay. <laughs> Bottle. You got out jigged in this one, buddy. My only chance was to beat you. <laughs> I would have one loss going into the next round. I don't know. I mean, you caught that first cup pretty pretty Listen. quick. So I've had one and a half. I've had one and a half, right? You got me once. I rang it twice. You got me twice. One and a half. I've had one and a half beers. <laughs> just feeling it just a little bit. I'm gonna film this, and if it's if it's shaky, my bad. So you're starting to feel it too. So what's your strategy? Going Ring into cup. this round. Ring the cup? Ring the cup. That is a good strategy. That's a solid strategy, Chris. I like the strategy. Right. Justin, Justin, what's your strategy? Strategy? Try to knock out a couple fast. Mm, that's a good strategy. He's already on the ropes. Oh, first, like that throw. first throw is a little short. No, I don't like that, please. Oof. All right, that's... Do, you just went. I've been sitting there and not going. That's one. Now i got to get back in the groove. That was close. Toss number seven. Is that right? Toss number seven? Yep. Should we really trust Brett to count right now? I wouldn't. All right, this is a cup. Toss number eight. Oh my gosh, that was really close. That was really close. There it is. Oh. I'm gone. She's over. Chris on toss number eight. You snatched away from me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't snatch it away. I had to work for After it. After I won the first, hit the cup on sudden death, and you came back and hit the next cup, that's ripped away from me. No. That means you made a mistake. How did I make a mistake? I rung the cup. On the very first row of sudden death, I rang the cup, and you answered right back. That's just, that look, that's just me coming in look. clutch. Yeah. You haven't really had to drink that much today. Like, you pretty much, you let us, like, kill each other. Two more throws. Two right. more throws. Right here, right? Yeah, you technically could. I mean, you're not with that throw, but you could have. Oh! On the tenth throw, Justin drains one. Now Chris has got to drink another six ounces. I got a beer half full over there just for you. Just remember, Chris, if you ring this next one, though, after you drink this, this six ounces, 
You can end it. Yeah. <sighs> Yummy. Should have made this a coat challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do, make one. You make this one, you win. Almost. We are going into sudden death, everybody. Sudden death. <laughs> See, I thought I was bad, but I'm looking at Chris right now. He's a little bit. <laughs> Considering he missed by two and a half feet, I think he's on the struggle bus. It's not that it's oh! There it is. All right. Chris, you can answer. Go ahead and this out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris is pretty much forfeiting. So, let's go over this right now. Chris has got to drink his six ounces. Chris got his second L. Chris is out. This guy right here, drunk, okay? Has to face this guy and beat him twice. The odds right now are in Justin's favor to win this. And he's the third seed. I think he's saying back there, I've just gotta win the next two rounds and then I can win. Or, all you gotta do is beat me once. You beat me once, you're taking home the hardware. The nice little bee fishing Flipping champion trophy of 2019. What are your thoughts so far, Justin? It could go either way. I mean, the you odds. Could be, you could be relaxed, getting the drink in. We got a little in between break, setting back up. You could settle down a little bit. I want to put this on record. I got taken out after the first shot on Southern Death and on the 10 shot in the first. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's a little salty. But we're going to the championship games. Well, this actually isn't the championship game. It's a championship game for you, but a survival game for me. So. You could do a consolation, but then you'd be really dropped. Either way, I'm finishing second. I mean, sudden death, that you was, that was. You, you keep saying you got robbed. First shot on sudden death, you answer. Last throw of the That's final. called coming in on the clutch, man. I came in in the clutch. It's luck. So, Justin, you get to choose the boards because you're the one toting the least losses. So which board do you want to shoot at? The least, you mean none? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll be a gentleman when you pick. He says it doesn't matter, basically, what he's saying he's got you either way. I would like to shoot it blue. Okay. If he wins this round, it means he's got to go another round. Yeah. Justin's going to lose on purpose, but I should watch him drink more. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Again, you get to choose who goes first, because right now you're at the higher. Okay, I go first. Fantastic. I don't know why I'm stretching. I am so loosey-goosey right now. It's not even funny. Close. That bounced off two cups. Woo! Yes! All right. Look at that, Brett. Yes! Got him go! Bum, dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Brett coming in with a one. Was that throw number four or three? That was four. number four. It's cold. Oh. So you're, 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 you're just taking this like it's refreshing. It is. <laughs> My last throw, right? Yes, number it. 10. Number ten. You can tie it. Oh, so close. So, what this means is we're going to the championship round. I've got to beat him two times in a row. I don't know that I can do it. The longer this stuff sits in my stomach, the worse I get. Like, I'm getting worse by the second. And I can totally feel it. Like, I feel like my face is on fire. I feel like I need bread. <laughs> well, watch the roof. <laughs> For the final and championship round, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, you're throwing first, right? Yes? Wait. That's what you yeah, said. I want to end. I want to end it. Oh. Justin goes first. He's saying he's going to end it. Are you going to take that? We'll find out. Well, this is three. This is three? Oh, and he Got ring it. a ding 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 On throw number three. Drunk Brit is way better at flipping than like sober Brit. <laughs> We're just gonna drink it right out of the measuring cup. Go, 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 go. This was a good idea. I actually really, really like this. We should, for real, we should really consider doing this with like a big group of bee fishing subscribers where you pay like five bucks to enter the tournament. The jig you use is the jig you keep. And uh, that extra buck, it's just for a trophy, but that extra dollar, however many people we get, or maybe we'll make it like $10. $10, you get a jig, you get to have some fun, and, uh, you donate some money to the local high school uh, fishing team. I think that's that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments right now. Get in the comment section. Let me know if you think that's a good idea and if you would participate if you're in the southeast Alabama area 
Uh, again, just trying to donate some money for the high school team, support the next generation of bass fishermen. Get in the comment section. I'm finishing the ninth. This is ninth. If you make it, you end it. Uh, you got a chance. I, I really thought I rang it too. Like well, you I did. Really... Rang the back of it. Oh snap! He does it again. The tenth <laughs> throw again. Feel my pain. The tenth row. Feel my pain. Suck up. Not good. Just drink it out of the bottle. Be a man. No. Lip it. No. <laughs> How are you feeling, Brett? Not good. I really wanted you to miss and just be over. Okay. He's still got a chance, ladies and gentlemen. If he makes this throw, it's his tenth row. He could walk out of here. The champion. Of the mother flipping championship. The good, the good news right now is I still have my center cups. All, all right. four of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. For the, all the marbles, or we go to sudden death. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Go! I came in in the clutch. I came in in the clutch. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. Because I feel bad about accepting my own trophy. What I'm gonna do oh, is, is I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, <laughs> it's a trophy. I mean, I'm gonna keep it. But here's what I'm gonna do. If you will get in the comment section, if you left a comment and you're subscribed and you like this video, I'm gonna send you some wicked jigs. I'm gonna send you one swim jig and one flipping jig for watching this video if you made it this far. Um, this was a lot of fun. How does it feel to get beat by the 10th <laughs> row? Huh, huh, huh? How does it feel? <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> It looks about six ounces. Oh yeah, you're just gonna. Well, how does it feel? It feels warm, and I feel heavy. <laughs> what about moist? It's moist coming in your terms. Sure. <laughs> so, guys, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button. Join the bee fishing family. Join the BFF. Um, I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys like this video. If y'all want to see this thing grow um, in 2020. Let me know in the comments. Again, if you comment, like, and subscribe, we're going to give away some of those jigs to you. I will mail them out uh, probably a week from today. I'm going to put the date right here when you got to enter by. And if you could, please, hit the share button below. Share it on Facebook, any social media you can. We want to make this video blow up. We think this is a great idea that we should expand on next year. So we need the word to spread. So everybody in the BFF, hit the share button. Um, and boys, I really appreciate y'all coming out. Justin, this was a great idea. This is all Justin's all idea. Fun. It was, uh, sucks to lose. <laughs> In the words of Ricky Bobby, you were the first loser. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you, honestly, I think being drunk helped a little bit because I'm not shaking at all. I was shaking See, a lot the first time. What did round. I say? What did I say when you asked me how I thought it would go? It, it, you thought it would relax me, and you were absolutely right. Chris, how, how are you feeling? Let's talk to you for a second. How are you going to throw up? You're not going to throw up. That's the key. That's a big bonus. That's a big, but you're not feeling anything, are you? Like, you, you put a dip in. You're just drinking. This is just a, a normal day. That's right. All right. Well, you know, must be what it feels like to be a real man. Anyway, I want to thank our partners, Wicked Jigs. If you haven't checked them out, they've got a website. I'm going to put the website down here. Um, go there, check out their jigs. They got some nice flipping jigs. What do you think of the jigs? Quality jigs? Oh, yeah. Okay. I like them. Quality jigs, I mean, they're getting to take, I mean, nobody's going home empty handed. They're getting to take home the jigs that they threw today. Go check him out. Um, big thanks to him for making these jigs for us. And again, he's got swim jigs, he's got shaky heads, and he's also got football jigs. For real, go check out Wicked Jigs. Um, and that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one.